Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday on our week-long vacation, and we are heading out. We're going to do some uh, a little bit of sightseeing here. We're going to go visit Mackinac Mill Creek, and that is where they have a water-powered, original water-powered sawmill that the kids can go watch. And they have some zip lines and stuff like that too, but I don't think we'll do the zip lines, but that's gonna be awesome as well. Old Creek, Old Mill Creek. In 1780, the British garrison at Fort Michel Mackinac moved to the Mackinac Island as a safer location during the American Revolution. Robert Campbell built a sawmill on this site where we're standing to furnish lumber for the new fort and settlement. His sawmill and dam were one of the earliest industrial enterprises in northern Michigan. The complex, the complex later included a grist mill, an orchard, a blacksmith shop, a warehouse, and several homes. Michael Dousman purchased the site in 1819 and continued to operate the mill until 1839, so 20 years. By 1867, the buildings were gone and this site had fallen into disrepair. In 1975, the Mackinac Island State Park Commission acquired or bought the site. It opened its recreated working sawmill to the public in 1984. Mill Creek is awesome for kids. Our boys are already loving it and we haven't even done anything yet. We just went inside and looked around and it's it's really nice here. Right now we're gonna head up a trail and we're gonna do a little overlook and some different things like that. Here they also have a whole zip line course uh, that you can go on and do. I don't know exactly how many zip lines there are. I've only seen them do one, but I know that they have a whole whole course of them that you can do over the park. So if you're into zip lining, this is the place to go when you're in Mackinac. Flour, beef, and apples would have been launched from this beach for the short journey across the Straits of Mackinac. 200 years later, the view from this hill would have been very different. The land deforested, creating an unobstructed view of the beach. Mill Creek's hayfields, pastures, and orchard were on some of this. From up here on this outlook, you can actually see the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. And that is what this mill used to do, was provide products for Mackinac Island and surrounding areas, obviously. but. Uh, a lot of the wood that was milled here went to build buildings on Mackinac Island. Bye. Time to make a presentation, a song about the wood. So we're on a little hike here. We're following the Milk Creek Trail. Uh, it's just at the park here, but it's, it's really nice. Very nice groomed trail. Levi is loving it. We're seeing, learning a whole bunch of stuff about trees and plants. It's very cool. Northern red oak. 
This lumber is used for flooring, veneer, furniture, and interior trim. thing I love about northern Michigan is that it is the end of July and today it's only going to get up to 70 degrees up here. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and jeans. It is beautiful. It's like the best of all worlds right here. Beautiful sunny day. 70 degrees. You can't beat northern Michigan weather. So this is the point where the water comes into the mill here. They put the dam in here so it only gets the overflow. And the rest of the water gets diverted down this track and into the mill and then they open that door and it pours the water down to this wheel here. Down to the wheel which spins which then powers the saw. As you can see, that is going down here. Water is powering the saw here. The big paddles in the back there. That in turn powers the saw in the mill.
meals, and then maybe lunch, and yeah. then the fort. No, let's do the off to the next adventure. Off to the next adventure. Well, we probably should eat.